Hello children, welcome to CA class. Today we will start chapter 6 program coding. Students, program I have already told you that it is set of instructions given to computer to solve a problem. Like if we have a question, it can be any question, a logical question or a mathematical question or any question related to our daily life. So if we have to solve that question, that will be a problem only. Okay, if we have to solve that problem, we have to go through step by step instructions. So here in computers, if you are giving set of instructions, it can be given with the help of programming language. Students, for computer, we have some softwares. We can use those softwares to write programs. And we can, we have so many programming languages in which we can write those programs. So students in previous chapters I have told you about algorithms and flowcharts. They are actually the first step to create a program. Like if we have to solve a problem, we need its algorithm or a flowchart or both. So I have already given you some examples of algorithms, flowcharts and all. So in that this chapter we will learn how to program those questions that we have done in previous chapter. So first of all students, we will know about the first programmer. First programmer was a female, Lady Ada Lovelace. She wrote the program for the first computer. What was the first computer? It was invented by Charles Babbage and it was known as Analytical Engine. So for that computer, Lady Ada Lovelace has created the program and that program was written in 1843. Now students, you know very well, computers does not work automatically. We have to provide instructions to computers. We know very well computers work very fast, but we have programmed computer in such a way that it cannot work by itself. We will give instructions and according to that the computer will work. So for that you should know about the programming language. Okay, there are different different types of programming languages. I'll give you examples like C, C++, Python, Java, VB, Pascal. There are so many languages. Actually these languages have some similarity that in this we can solve a problem but the method can be different and the programming language means the way of writing the program can be different. That means syntax and all is different but in the end they will do the same task. Okay, like if we are having a problem then we can write the program in C. We can write the same program. We can solve that problem in C++ also. We can solve that problem in Java also. But what will happen? All three languages are different. Okay? Their syntaxes will be different. So, for every programming languages, we have to follow some syntaxes, some rules. So, students, here in this chapter, we will learn about Java language. Java is a programming language and the software that we will use to write Java programs will be BlueJ. Okay? All of you search about BlueJ today. And if it is possible, then download it from the internet and install it in your computer. So, students, first of all, we should know what is program. Program, we have already discussed. Set of instructions to solve a problem. Okay, like if we have to solve a problem, then we will write some set of instructions to solve that problem. Okay, there will be finite number of steps to write the software and all that I told you earlier while writing algorithms. Okay, like we should understand the problem first and there should be finite solution and all there should be finite set of instructions and all instructions should be in proper order that so that we can get the proper result. So students here even you can write the program. If you have the knowledge of programming, okay, any programming language like if in this we will study about Java. So you will be able to write programs in Java. The same way if you have knowledge of any other programming language, then you can write programs of your own and using 
those programming language see students there are number of programming languages now i have given you examples of many such languages c c++ java vb php pascal there are many such languages in which we can write programs so what is programming the process of writing or creating the program is called programming or it is also known as program coding okay like if i know any language then i if i write the program in that particular language then i might be programming now students we will discuss about need for programming but before that once more we will discuss about programming what is programming programming is actually a process of writing the program now what is program program are steps of instructions to solve a problem problem now again what can be the definition of programming programming is a process of writing and creating the step by step instructions to solve a problem in a specific programming language okay now here there will be a specific programming language and the programming language on which we will work will be java so students we will know what is the need of programming computer know very well that it is a machine which has made our work easier okay it performs task very fast whatever question whatever instructions we have given to computer computer is working according to that only okay so it does not do anything of its own it perform task very fast but we need to tell computer some specific things then only it will work so students if we have to solve a problem we have to follow some steps this these types of steps i have already discussed with you in previous chapter while writing algorithms the same steps we have to follow because algorithms are only the first step to write the program okay so what needs to be done first of all if we have to program we have to find out that what we have to do then after that in that we can write algorithm only okay in the form of step by step instruction we will find out that how that problem can be solved so the step by step instructions will be either algorithm or it can be the flow chart or people those who are more efficient in writing those they can they can write both algorithms and flow charts the order of performing the instructions step by step instructions if we have got then we need to check the order of those steps if those steps are in proper order then only we will get the correct answer what data they have to work upon okay like if we have written steps of instructions then we have to find out that what data we will insert inside it like if we have to to add two numbers then what we will insert inside it we can add two numbers we can add two decimal numbers or both should be inserted okay whatever number we are inserting it should be simply added and we will get the we should get the output okay so according to that we have to decide that which type of data we have to insert inside the program and then after that if we are inserting the data then which type what output we will get okay like if we will insert the number then we will get an answer in number only it will not be in decimal if we are inserting decimal numbers and integers both then we will get exact answer so we should take care that what exactly we have to insert in the computer and what exactly the result we will get according to that input so all about things can be specified only through programming all these things okay once we have got algorithms or flow chart then we can convert that algorithm or a flow chart into a programming language got it so the programming is needed to make computer work as per our requirement got it because computer will not understand algorithm computer will not understand flow chart but if there is a software which can convert java program okay any program into machine understandable language then we can write programs in that software so here students we will use blue jay software 
Okay, BlueJay software will convert the Java program into the machine language so that computer can understand the machine language. Okay, we have discussed this it many a times that computer understands only machine language. That means binary language, which is zero or one only. So that is why we are using different softwares to write programs in different languages so that those softwares can convert the programming language into the machine language and then we can get the desired result. So students only this much for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.